Hey, welcome to Inspired by Design. I'm Beth O'Reilly and I'm here with May Esch and I'm inspired about fall. And we're gonna create a really exciting tablescape with all of these wonderful pumpkins and fall products. But first of all, I wanna show you how I'm gonna prep my pumpkins. And I'm also gonna throw a twist in there that I think you guys will really enjoy. Just something to update the whole traditional pumpkin arrangement and make it fun and exciting. So I have the Jaredell um, pumpkin and I also have the fairy tale pumpkin and just a regular good old butternut squash that you can get from the grocery store. And I've prepped the butternut squash by just scraping out the inside. I've lined it with plastic and um, I've got some wet foam in there. So I've also cleaned out my Jaredell. And beautiful, all prepped and ready to go. And I have my foam ready, so we'll get that one going and I'm simultaneously also going to be working on this because we're going to create a long tablescape for our dinner um, that we've invited our guests to for our Thanksgiving. So this one I cut open a little differently. You can see that I just did it right down the middle. Again, beautiful color inside. It's all cleaned and ready to go. And we're going to have two different kinds of designs going on in each of these um, pumpkins. So I always like to line my pumpkin arrangements with a little bit of plastic. This just happens to be the cello that I have on hand. And I've got my foam ready to go. We're going to pop the foam in there and we can just cut all the rest of this away so that you don't see it and it just goes away. It will help keep the pumpkin fresh longer. and our arrangement lasts longer. So that one's ready to go. And this one is gonna be more of like a sandwich style. So it's just gonna be a little different funky design. And again, I got plastic on the bottom just to keep the water from going everywhere. And we're gonna put the top on, but to secure the top on this one, I'm gonna use just a few of my hyacinth steaks. And I usually find if I just do a slight angle on my hyacinth steaks, it just holds things that much better. So we just need to leave a little bit sticking up so we can poke it through the flesh of our fairy tale pumpkin. And then we can just press that down into the flesh of the pumpkin. And these are ready, ready for flowers. Now, you can do different things with the tops of your pumpkins. I'm sure you guys have seen lots of fun stuff. But I have a really cool idea here with upholstery tacks. So this will be like nail head pumpkins. As you can see, the pumpkin here behind me has a nail head design. You can do all different kinds of designs. And these are super easy. You just are going to push them right through and it kind of gives that upholstered look, just a very fun and different new way to present a pumpkin arrangement. I call them studded pumpkins. I'm also gonna go ahead and stud, just because of the design uh, that I wanna do, the composition, I'm gonna do a little bit of studs on our butternut squash that are going to be very much like you see back here. So I'm gonna work on that. I have my pumpkins all prepped and studded, and so now I'm ready to start designing flowers. And I've picked a beautiful palette of fall colors. I'm gonna start working with the butternut squash, and I just want this to be a little bit more of like an accent piece, so it's not gonna have so many flowers in it. But we're gonna start with some of this really fun grass. I've got a little bit of green wheat, and I also have the cat catinus. And I'm just gonna make a collar with the catinus. These are just really simple little statements that we're going to do multiples of that should go pretty quickly. The deep rich color of the Gatinus is really what's making this pop and this fun dried grass. And I'm just going to work a little bit of the fresh wheat in there to give it another texture. So a little simple accent piece. This is going to really make our table pop. But next we're going to move on to our Jaredell. I'm going to use just touches of this wonderful antique hydrangea. I'm 
These cappuccino roses are really stunning. I can't wait to put those in there. And I'm also gonna use just a touch of the Patience Garden Rose, which smells so good. I've also got some lavender garden roses and some astilbe and these gorgeous Marsala spider mums. And again, we're grouping things. Grouping things really is a lovely way to make your flowers stand out. Very simple design, but is impactful when things are grouped together. I'm also gonna put some Saharas in there. I just love this neutral tone of the Saharas. And when you're doing your clusters of roses, I always find that if you do a little bit of depth and tuck some a little deeper, a little in and out, it just helps with things not looking so roundy moundy, gives them a little bit more life, more dimension. And I want just a touch of the liquid amber in there too. We, just, we don't need a whole lot, just a touch. It is fall, so we do want some of that beautiful fall foliage. You can see the, how pretty that's going with the palette we have to work with. I'm going to start working some of these flowers in very much the same way that I did the other pumpkin. Some touches of hydrangea. We really want it to have a gardeny look that spills out right now. We do have a little bit of a sandwich going, but once we get a little bit more dimension, I think it's going to get gardeny and just be a fun design. And to get that, I think, you know, we need to make sure we have some depth, some different elevations of our product. And our butterscotch mum, just to add a little bit of that really wonderful butterscotch flavor. So the finishing touch for our tablescape is gonna be place cards for each individual guest coming to Thanksgiving dinner. And we've taken a little mini pumpkin and made just a little bit of wire uh, that's gonna hold our name card. We've just coiled it and you can just have fun and play with that, but we're going to add just a touch of flowers and I'm gonna do that with a few foliages and blooms and a little bit of our Oasis glue. So our final detail to complete our table. Now that the table is set, you can see all of our elements come together. Pumpkins done a little differently, a different color combination for fall that's just a little bit softer, a softer side of fall, and lovely touches and details that only a florist knows how to do. Thanks for joining us, and from our Mayash family to yours, have a very happy Thanksgiving.